1586, it was the favoured seat of Kings of Scotland and became a royal borough in 1588. Football fans have been looking back as well. Dunfermline were last in a major final in 1968 when they won the Scottish Cup against Hearts. 23 years on, they're back at Hamden. Skipper Norrie McCarthy struck the decisive blow in the semi-final penalty shootout and he says they're determined to do more than just enjoy the day. You could play badly and come away with a cup and that is uh, in the sort of be-all and end-all is to come away with a cup. Um, to enjoy it, yeah, it'd be great to enjoy it, but first I'd like to win it. The confidence might seem misplaced. Dunfermline were well beaten by Hibs three weeks ago and they're still looking for their first league win of the season. But they drew with Aberdeen last Saturday after another impressive performance at Tynecastle, and there are clear signs that Jockey Scott's influence is making itself known. He's certainly uh, coming with the discipline wise, he's got a lot of the players on the toes and, and doing things now what they weren't doing maybe three or four months ago, which has got to be a good thing for the club. And uh, long term, I don't see why, why we can't get ourselves out of the situation. They've worked hard and, and they've worked hard to, to stop the opposition playing and they've worked hard to try and, uh, and attack the opposition and, and score goals. And that has been pleasing. And especially after what had happened the first three or four games. But uh, there's still a long way to go, and, but the signs are very encouraging. The Pars fans are unfurling their banners for Hamden. They've waited a long time to put on their Sunday best. And would you believe it, they don't think Hibs have much of a chance. I think I want to beat Hibs at least 2-1. I think we've peaked at the right time for the cup anyway, and I think Jockey Scott's going to start turning the team around. The last two performances have been very good. They're probably going to win. Why is that? Because they're the best team in the world. Oh. He looked as if he meant it too. Expect some well-known faces in the Hamden crowd. The pride of Ochtar Mahti, the proclaimers are die-hard fans of Hibernian, and Dunfermline will have some star support as well from another music man who's not slow to sing their praises. Stuart Adamson, lead vocalist and guitarist with Big Country, was born in Dunfermline and has been singing the par songs all his days. A hungry man is never free. Rich man never free. First game I went to, I was taken to by my uncle in the mid-60s. Uh, we beat St. Vernon, I think it was 2-0, and uh, Fergie scored both goals uh, that day. And I've been a, kind of a regular since then, you know, all through the... Uh, the uh, European campaigns and the cup final winning and, and the, the downs and the ups, you know. We, we actually used to rehearse in at East End Park when the club were in the second division and uh, there was, when there wasn't any full-time players here and the gymnasium wasn't being used, we used to rehearse in there during the day. But Stuart has never considered writing a song for Dunfermline. Well, their musical track record isn't all that good, is it? They had a really dodgy track in the, when Jim first started doing that, the EastEnders theme tune, which <laughs> after him having done that, I've, I've wanted to stay as far away from it as possible, you know. <laughs> if they were to win on Sunday, would you get down to put something in the, new, the next album? Oh, I'd be too emotional for that, I think. If they win on Sunday, I'll be, uh, I'll be, I wouldn't even like to describe what kind of state I'll be in. What's the score going to be a Sunday? Oh, <laughs> we win on penalties. <laughs>